Welcome to the Dr. Samuel M. Jordan Center for Persian Studies and Culture. My name is Tureja Dariyei, and I'm the director of the center. Uh, today I'm going to briefly discuss the etiquette of uh, tea consumption in Iran. Uh, now we know that tea comes from China, and the term that is used in Persian, chai, is indeed uh, of Chinese origin. Uh, however, uh, the consumption of tea on a mass scale in Iran is more of a uh, more recent phenomenon. Uh, the introduction of a samovar, which is Russian in origin, uh, to Iran, uh, which is the mechanism by which the tea is brewed, as well as uh, tea trade and actually planting of uh, tea in Iran, uh, resulted uh, in tea becoming the favorite drink uh, in Iran and its neighboring countries. Uh, now, throughout time, uh, certain etiquettes have changed, but certain things have remained. For one thing, uh, tea is consumed with lots of sweets. So if you are served uh, such a tea, uh, and you will be served in every uh, place that you will go, uh, there is a host of different sweets from the different parts of Iran uh, that will be served to you. The baklava, which of course is well known in the Middle East, and uh, in Iran it is famous uh, in the city of Qazvin. Uh, we have Sohan, uh, which is famous from uh, the city of Qom, Zulbiya Bamiye, uh, Gaz from Isfahan, uh, and so on, are always uh, uh, the choice for uh, drinking tea uh, along with them. Otherwise, the more uh, normal way is to use sugar cubes for tea consumption. And uh, some people may actually just have it without any sweets, as I would. Now, having said this, a more traditional way of drinking tea uh, in the olden times was that when tea was hot and poured, rather than uh, drinking it straight away, some people would actually put it on a saucer. In this way, it cooled down. They would take a sugar cube, make it soft, and it would be drank. Now obviously, you would have found this in coffee houses among the masses as a way of drinking. Today, there are lots more uh, kinds of teas offered besides the black tea, which is the favorite tea. And what you can find it everywhere that these uh, sugar rock cubes with saffron, with different flavors, are placed into the tea to make it sweet. So that is another way that tea is consumed today, uh, along with the host of a dozen type of tea in Iran. Now since I have the sugar cube in my uh, mouth, I'm going to finish it off with my tea, but uh, this is the way that is done in Iran. So enjoy. <laughs> 